So you just got back home from a full night of gaming over at your friend's house and you get up in the morning and you're ready to play your games and in the middle of playing all of a sudden you get kicked out of your game and you think, oh yeah, I forgot to remove my gamer tag from my buddy's console and he's playing on your account. So not really cool, but what can you do? You're not over there. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove your gamer tag from that console even if you don't have access to the Xbox itself. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you for being here. And as I mentioned in the intro, uh, you, for whatever reasons, you need to remove your gamer tag from another Xbox console, but you do not have access to that console any longer, so what can you do? Well, it's a bit of a good news, bad news situation, so let's go ahead and jump into the bad news and get that out of the way. Now, the bad news is, is that you cannot actually remove a gamer tag from another Xbox console uh, remotely. You have to physically be at the console in order to literally completely remove it off of the console. However, the good news is that you can still remove the access to be able to use the gamer tag on that console. So let's go ahead and talk about how to make that happen. And the first thing you can do, and you know, if this is a friend of yours or a family member and you're obviously still in a good relationship with them, then the first thing you really need to do is just simply ask them to remove the account on your behalf. And if for some reason they don't know how to do that, then let's go over the quick steps that you can tell them how to remove your gamer tag for you. And so this is actually a pretty simple process. So the first thing you'll need to do is go into settings, then you'll click onto accounts, and then you'll go over to remove accounts, then you'll need to find the account that you want to remove and then just click accept and then your account will no longer be on the Xbox for them to use. Okay, and so now that we've done that, uh, if for some reason, like I said, you just do not have access, you can't get a hold of them, whatever the reasons are, and you need to remove your account remotely, like I said, you can't completely remove it out, but let's go ahead and talk about how to uh, make it a useless account on their Xbox just in case. And the way to do that is to change your password for your uh, Microsoft account. Now you can remove your password in two different ways. So you can either go onto the Xbox and change your password through the Xbox, or you can go directly to the Microsoft website and do that. So let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox and we'll get that started for you. All right, so the steps you'll need to do on here is go to your My Games and Apps. You'll go down to your apps and you'll want to find your Microsoft Edge. Once you open up Edge, you'll need to type in the address for xbox.com. open that up then you'll want to click on your profile picture and go down to my Microsoft account okay and then once that page loads you're going to want to click on change password here and then that should open up the change password window and then all you need to do is enter your new password click Save and then you should be set to have changed your password okay and so that's how you change your password by using the Xbox now Frankly, I do find this a bit more of a tedious and unnecessary process and way to do this, uh, but you know, maybe you don't have access to a desktop or even you don't have a phone at the moment and you really need to get this change uh, right now or for whatever reasons you just need to use the Xbox, that would be how you do that. Now let's go ahead and move on to the second way of changing your password, but before we do that, if you're finding value in this video, please make sure you hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so now on to the second way, and that is by logging into the Microsoft account either on your phone or on a desktop computer. And like I mentioned, I do find that this process I think will be a lot faster and a little bit easier than just jumping onto your Xbox. It's, it's a much smoother and more direct process to do this. So what you're going to do is log into your uh, Microsoft account by visiting Microsoft.com. Once you're there, you're going to click on your profile picture, which will put a drop down menu, which would bring up the option to click on your Microsoft account. So once you click on the Microsoft account and the page loads, right here at the top of the page, you should see where it says change your password. And then you want to just simply click on that icon and that'll open up the next window in which you can change your password. Okay, and so now that you've changed your password, what will happen is the next time that they log in, uh, it's going to ask them for your password in order to sign into your account on their console. So like I said, uh, unfortunately you can't completely remove your gamer tag offer. They'll always technically see that until maybe they get annoyed enough and just go in and remove it for you, but they won't be able to use that unless they're really good at uh, guessing passwords or you give it to them again. 
Okay guys, and so now that you've removed your gamer tag access, uh, it is important to also remove your Xbox home settings on that console if that's something that you shared with them. Uh, that's going to remove the Xbox Live capabilities and any games that you might have been sharing. So if you completely want that access removed if you've given it to them, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to remove Whoa, well, sorry, didn't mean to remove myself. Uh, I just want to show you how to remove the Xbox home settings and you can view that video right here in order to see how to do that. And with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.